what's going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going over my best tips here in dragon's dogma 2 this video is dedicated for anybody starting off brand new to the game or the franchise if you haven't played dragon's dogma 1 10 years ago so i played through the game and i beat it a couple times so this is my best tips to help you guys out on your journey in dragon's dogma 2 without further ado let's get right into the video and starting off with tip number one is you want to hire your pawns as soon as possible. Now as soon as you get out of the first part of the game, you'll go to your first camp and you'll activate a rift stone and that way you can get your main pawn and then you can hire two other pawns to create your four man party which consists of you, the arisen, your main pawn and two hired pawns. Now you can advance search for level, vocation, gender, race, quest knowledge and inclination. Uh, if you want to pick out a certain pawn if you'd like, but that way you'll have your party uh, suited up as soon as possible. And since we are on the topic of pawns, this brings us to tip number two, sharing your items. Now, when you're adventuring out in Dragon's Dogma 2, you are going to collect a bunch of items such as consumables, different plants and fruits, upgrade materials, valuables, weapons and armor and you want to go ahead and you can share your loot with your pawns especially the ones that you hired the two that you hired can still carry items for you and once you get rid of those and hire new pawns the stuff that they're carrying will just transfer over to your storage box uh, the one that you can access at different inns in all the towns in Dragon's Dogma 2 but this is awesome because that way all the stuff that you find you can just dump onto your pawns and that way you can kind of equalize the amount of loot that you find throughout your adventures and another quick tip is I would highly suggest items such as armor and weapons that you are not using the ones that have a little square box with the slash through it if you are not using them I would just hurry up and dump them as soon as possible once you get to different towns because weapons and armor weigh the most in this game and while we're on the topic of items brings us to Tip number three, combining items as soon as possible. Now, like I said, you will be finding a bunch of items out in the world when you're looting and grabbing items off of enemies. And items deteriorate over time in this game. So when you find meat and fish and apples and fruit, uh, they will turn rotten or they will turn ripe or aged. And you want to try and combine these items at the right time or as soon as possible so that way you'll have plenty of consumables to help with your health and stamina. And if you have rotten foods, usually you can make lantern oil to help out with your lantern. Now moving on to tip number four is you want to go and switch vocations as much as possible here in Dragon's Dogma 2. Now the reason why I say that is because switching vocations can be a very positive thing, which you can unlock different augments for different vocations because augments are like passive skills that you can apply to your current vocation and once you level up different vocations you can unlock all types of different augments and you can create like an ultimate vocation class with the augments that complement your current vocation that you are using and you can do the same thing with your main pawn and also, switching vocations is very easy in this game. Once you unlock that vocation, you can just spend discipline points, which is just earned by you know, defeating monsters out in, out in the landscape. You can just go ahead and spend the discipline points, go ahead and level them up, and then acquire different augments to apply to different vocations. So definitely switch around your setup every once in a while if you want to have different skills and augments apply to your vocation and to your main pawn and the next tip i have for you guys is to save your gold i feel like gold in this game is much more valuable unlike any other rpg that's out there where you just have a ton of gold and you can kind of buy almost everything in the game but especially you know early to mid game you know gold i feel like is very scarce but you'll start earning it like crazy once you start completing quests and finding different people that will give you gold and you can loot gold off of you know, monsters and you can get gold off of different chests uh, once you start finding chests and stuff like that. But I feel like you know, the biggest thing that you want to save your gold for is buying fairy stones which are used to teleport around the world upgrading your gear and to also buy end game gear even though yes you can find different equipment um, and armor out in the wild but I feel like once you get to end game in my experience 
all of the good stuff was behind a merchant. So I would just save your gold as much as possible and just focus on those fairy stones and upgrading your equipment. And I feel like you'll have a much better time at managing your gold. And also selling different valuables that worth more to different vendors, such as the Jaspers and the Onyxes, they are worth more in different regions. So keep an eye out for that. And my final tip to you guys is just go and explore Dragon's Dogma 2. Go and explore what Dragon's Dogma 2 has to offer for you. You know, the map is fairly large. It's got tons of gameplay behind it, tons of combat, tons of monsters to slay. And there's a tons of cool secrets that you can go out and explore and find. And that's what really what Dragon's Dogma 2 is about. It's not about questing and trying to find the next NPC to give you a quest and checking off different quests off a quest log. You know, it's not really like that. It, it's kind of its own thing, and I feel like that's what people, you know, fail to recognize when they're playing Dragon's Dogma 2 as they try to focus on, you know, questing, which is what modern RPGs try to do. But in this game, it's just go and have fun. Go and have fun and explore higher different pawns as you level up and you'll have a better combat experience you know mix and match up your party go and slay monsters you can go and find different caverns and hey maybe you'll find some cool quests that'll help you out with your you know with your gameplay like you'll never know what you'll find out in the world of dragon's dogma 2 but with all that being said guys that wraps things up for this video here. I got many videos to come with Dragon's Dogma 2. I'm going to be focusing heavy on them this week um, and pretty much till the end of April. So if you want to stay tuned for more Dragon's Dogma 2 content, please make sure you drop a like and consider subscribing for more content coming your way. And I'll catch you on the next video. Deuces.